new forms of imperial art. The word imperial is relating to an empire or to the person who rules it. From the 18th century, many European artists continued to come to India. They had their own conventions of painting that is recognized methods or styles to produce a particular effect. The European artists believed in realism, the style of art in which things, especially unpleasant things, are shown as they actually exist in life and are not just imagined. They carefully observed the person or thing and depicted faithfully what the eyes saw. What the artist produced was expected look real and lifelike. A lifelike picture looks exactly like a real person or thing. The European artists used the technique of oil painting to produce images that looked real. Indian artists were not very familiar with oil painting. The European artists in India painted on varied subjects according to their individual inspirations, but they all emphasized the superiority of the ruler Britain, its culture, its people and its power in their creations. To do this, they added imagination in their pictures, sometimes considerably. Their pictures became widely popular in Europe as people were eager to know about India and go there to make a fortune. The European perception of India took shape on the basis of these pictures. Major trends or three categories within imperial art were picturesque landscape painting, life-size images of statues and history painting.